what's up guys Tekshan here back with another video. This time it's gonna be very different, something super interesting. It's about an upgrade that I recently made at the studio. Thought I'll share it with you guys and let you know some cool things about it. I am super excited. Sit back and enjoy and make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to support individual creators like me. I hope you guys will do it. Alright. So here it is guys, my all new Creality Ender 3 V2 3D printer. When it comes to 3D printing, Creality is a popular name. This is an amazing mid-range 3D printer in their lineup and I am super excited about it. After using the Ender 3 Pro, the Ender 3 V2 is a decent upgrade in my opinion. Be it you are a pro or a 3D printing enthusiast, this will be a good one to consider. In this video, I will be giving you an overview about the printer, why I had chosen it and what this one offers. Before that, 3D printing is fun but no joke, takes time, trial and error, patience and money to get things right. Keep that in mind. It's not like you buy the printer, plug it in and just print. Modeling what you need to print perfectly is important, adjusting the right settings is even more important. Then choosing the right filament to avoid breaks and to achieve quality prints. I always choose primarily Eason filaments, 1.75mm diameter. This printer supports PLA, TPU and few other filaments. Then troubleshooting when things go wrong, which in the course will definitely go wrong. And above all, wait patiently for prints to complete. And the list goes on and on. But you will perfect it as you start doing things. And every time, it's a learning curve. Here is a closer look at the Ender 3 V2. So, the printer comes in individual parts. And you have to be super patient and dedicate time to put it all together. In my case, it took about 2 hours. Manuals, help videos, all are available to help you out. Compared to the Ender 3 Pro, here you have an improvised hot end. Then the extruder. I have upgraded this to a metal one compared to the plastic that comes by default. Also I have added a small custom pulley and a support so that the filament flows even more smoothly. This is what basically pushes the filament into the hot end. Then the glass bed. The printing size of this printer is 220 x 220 x 250mm. Well, leveling this bed is the most important part to achieve good prints. Though high-end printers come with auto bed leveling, mid-range printers won't have that. So if you don't level your bed right, the nozzle can hit and break, prints can turn out to be choppy and that's just the start of the problem. But if you get it right, get ready for some smooth prints. Needs patience. Then you have the belt adjustment knob. Compared to the Ender 3 Pro, this comes with a silent motherboard. So apart from the fan noise, it's quiet. Then the all new display. It's now bigger and has a clear UI. You have all the controls you need to manage the printer. Navigating around with this round knob is cool. I don't want to go in depth but let me give you a simple flow on how things go. First, get your design model ready. Cinema 4D, Tinkercad, whatever software you are familiar with. Once done, using a slicing software like Cura, you need to make sure it's all good for 3D print. Then load it into a microSD card. Next, preheat the bed with optimal settings. But make sure your bed is leveled because as said, it has to be done manually, which at times can be a bit challenging. Then, depending on the color you need to print, load the filament and carefully route it through the extruder. Do note only one color will print at a time. So don't think you can print multicolor stuff on this on a single shot. Once done, load the card and select the 3D file to print. And BAM! Wait for it to start. Do note if you want to stop the print halfway, in case you find something's wrong or the filament breaks, you can do that. It has a resume function as well in the event of a power cut. It's better to hook it up to a UPS just to make sure the prints don't stop. Alright, to give you an idea, this pyramid took about 4.5 hours to print. So, in a brief, that's how it goes. Overall, as said, this is the perfect go-to consumer printer in the market at the moment that does not bite your pocket. The Ender 3 V2 costs around Rs 22,000 and apart from that, good quality filaments like Eason starts from around 1,002 to 1,005 per kg per color. So depending on how many colors you want, you will have to shell out. 
So, hope you guys got an idea about the Creality Ender 3 V2 3D printer. If you're in the market for something to kickstart your 3D printing journey, you can definitely check this out. Like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in another exciting video. Until then.